New Delhi, the three-member cabinet mission begins its historic quest to find a solution to India's political deadlock. One of the largest press conferences in Indian newspaper history, with reporters from many countries present, was held as a preliminary to the talks. Lord Pethick Lawrence, in his opening remarks, underlined the principles which would guide them during the talks. And after the conference, Mr. Alexander chatted with newspapermen, while his colleagues, Sir Stafford Cripps and Lord Pethick Lawrence, edged their way to the door to escape the barrage of questions. Then members of the mission went into conference with provincial governors. The mission has declared that it has come with no set plan for action. Already invitations have been sent to all prominent political leaders, asking them to explain their points of view to the cabinet ministers. The governor's conference is a prelude to these talks, and as we go on the screen, prominent leaders are reported to be on their way to Delhi. The reporters would have given a lot to know what the governors knew after the conference. The cabinet mission also held an informal conference with Lord Wavell and his secretary. India was buzzing with rumours. The cabinet mission was the talk of restaurants, playgrounds and drawing rooms. In fact, everybody had a theory. But one thing was certain. The cabinet ministers were determined to find the solution. Mr Abel, private secretary to the Viceroy, arrived to attend the conference with the inevitable file and soon papers were being passed from hand to hand for close study. From the official statements that have been made, a few important facts emerge. The Muslim League demand for Pakistan is the crucial problem and much of the discussion will centre around this point. An interim government has been suggested as a kind of caretaker while the constitution of an independent India is being drawn up. But there is to be no imposition of a settlement on an unwilling India. More important is the determined spirit with which the cabinet mission and Indian leaders have got down to the task of finding a solution. In millions of homes in both Britain and India, men and women wait for good news. India faces many serious problems, political, economic and social. These can only be solved if the mission proves itself a success. If it doesn't, it will mean chaos for our people. Those conscious of past failures must wonder whether on this occasion statesmanship will prevail. Est arrivé en Tunisie en visite officielle.